Hi, my name is James Bezik. I'm a senior developer advocate here at AWS Serverless. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom event bus in Amazon EventBridge. We'll first do this in the console, then I'll show you how to do it programmatically using an application deployed with SAM, the serverless application model. So first of all, go to the AWS Management Console, and then go to the Services dropdown and select Amazon EventBridge. From here, you'll see the splash screen for the service. Go to the menu bar on the left and select Event Buses. You'll see the default event bus that exists in every AWS account. And this will be here even if you've not used Amazon EventBridge before. There you can see partner event sources with the different SaaS providers that are integrated with EventBridge. Now to create a new event bus of your own, a custom event bus, just click the Create Event Bus button and we'll give it a name, My Second Bus. Now optionally you can add permissions for other accounts and organizations, but now we'll just leave that alone and I'll click Create. And that's it. That's all you have to do to create a brand new custom event bus. And there you can see the event bus ARN. Now you can also do this using the CLI. So from your command line, just type in AWS events, uh, create event bus, and we'll give it a name of my third bus. Let's set the region, we're currently in US West 1. And that's it, you get the event bus ARN returned to you. The, the bus is now ready. Back in the console, if we refresh this page, you'll see that my third bus is now available. Now, once you have your custom event bus, you can use code to post events to that bus. I've created this example application in my GitHub repo. It's called the EventBridge SAM example that you'll find in JBESW, my account there. I'm gonna take this URL and go to Cloud9. I'm going to clone this repo with git clone. And now we've pulled all those files into our environment. Now in here, we've got two Lambda functions, an invoice service and an order service, along with a SAM template. Now the SAM template here specifies the different resources used by this application. There's the order service, along with the policy that allows it to put events onto the event bus. Here's the invoice service function that's simply a basic Lambda function that is waiting to be invoked by EventBridge. Further down, we'll see that there's an event rule that's been created. And this is used so that it creates an event pattern where there's a source of demo.orders and a detail state of created. And it sets it to enabled, but also indicates what the targets will be if this, if this rule is fired and it will call the invoice service function. So what we'll do here is we're going to use SAM to deploy this. So I'm gonna run just a CD into the directory and then change SAM build. This is running NPM on those functions, that's ready. Now I'll run SAM deploy guided and we'll call this event bridge demo in US East 2 don't need to confirm changes, create IM roles, and we'll watch that deploy. Now, while that's deploying, let's take a quick look at the code. This is the invoice service app, and this is the order service. Now, the order service is pretty simple. It's just going to do some work at the top there, but then it's gonna create the params to post an event to the event bus. There's a couple of required details here, but also some specific ones for our application. It's gonna say there's a new order, and with an ID of one, two, three, and a timestamp. Then it calls put events, and it waits for a response, then logs out the results. Now the invoice service just logs out the event to show that it received something and it's been fired. It doesn't do anything more than that. So our application with SAM has now been successfully deployed. So we're gonna go back to Lambda. You can see these two functions that have been deployed by SAM. I'm gonna copy the function name of the order service just there. I'm gonna invoke this directly from the command line. I'll just use AWS Lambda invoke, pass in the function name, and then give it an output file to log out the output. And that's now been successfully invoked. 
Now if I go to CloudWatch and look at that invoice service function, we can see that this has been invoked by EventBridge. We'll see there's a log stream there, and it contains the event that was sent to it from the order service. Let's do this in real time. I'm going to open a second terminal and put this side by side. I'll just uh, split the screen, give ourselves a little bit more room here. So what we'll do is we'll tail the log file with Sam and say Sam logs, provide the name of the function and the stack name, and then just dash T for tail. So that's the log that we saw previously, and that was tailing for changes. In the other terminal, we will then invoke the Lambda function again. And what you can see immediately is that logs have started to come through into CloudWatch for the other function, which shows that how fast this works. The order service has now pushed an event to the event bus, and it's gone straight to the invoice service. So again, if we look at the order service application, you can see this is the JSON that was created with the new order and the ID of 123. And the rule that we created had a source of demo orders in the state of created. So that rule matched the event that was sent to it. Now inside the event bus here, if we click on the rule that was created, you can see event bridge demo rule here. That was what was created by our SAM template. And it has that event pattern shown in the console. Anytime you want to see how often this is called, you can click on metrics to see the performance of this rule. So creating a custom event bus is really easy with Amazon EventBridge. And I showed you how you can do this with both the console and the CLI. Once you have a custom event bus, you can interact with it with code. You can send events to your new event bus from Lambda using the EventBridge put events methods in the SDK, or automate the integration entirely using a SAM template. To learn more, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash eventbridge. Thanks for joining me for this brief overview. Happy coding.